Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of DML. So we are on level 6 and we have this chest right here to open up. And there we go, the key was found. Let's move on to the next level and get the treasure behind the gate. And so this means that we have finished off level 6 of the Great Egg Hunt event and unlocked the Woolly Dragon. So obviously you get this for finding the key in the final level of the event. And so now we can go ahead and put this dragon's egg into our hatchery. So that is two dragons out of three done and dusted for the event. So yeah, just look at how cute this guy is. And now when we put the egg in the hatchery, it's going to take 18 hours, 47 minutes for the egg to finish hatching. So we'll be able to come back, say, tomorrow or later today and finally open up this cutie little sheep guy. So yes... We did manage to finish level 6 within plenty of time, and now we will be going back to level 2, level 3, level 4, and using all of our leftover event tokens to open up the remaining chests. And we can't actually do the fights on level 2 because we don't have the correct elements, but we will try this one, and yes, again, we still can't do the left-hand side fights either. So we're just going to have to skip this. Is it skip? cheaper to skip this fight on the bottom or is it cheaper to just go all the way around um i actually think it's cheaper to go up so we're gonna go around this way because the fight itself is 400 and then the other two tiles are probably gonna be like 100 and something each so we'll just go that way open up this chesty right here 13 out of 22 for the painted and at this point we have two days and 19 hours of the event left to go so we have like a decent amount of time still to uh, go ahead and hope that we can get the Painted Dragon. I think it is going to be close as to whether we actually get the Painted or not. But the Woolly is in our possession. We got very lucky early on in the event, which allowed us to progress pretty quickly. So, you know, overall I am pretty happy with that. And now we just have random eggs floating about that we have to go and collect. And, you know, every little extra bit is going to help us at this point because... Even if we only end up one card piece away from getting the Woolly Dragon, we might be able to get that out of card pack. So I am honestly not all too fussed about having to get every piece. Okay, and so now I have returned 18 hours later and we have 4,700 egg pieces that we have at the moment. So we got a lot of stuff that we can spend, hopefully open up some more chests and stuff like that. Good thing is that the earlier levels are super duper cheap. So, you know, hopefully we will have a good shot at getting the painted again. I'm not sure how good our chances are overall, but for level 3 and that we can use the plant element as well, which is going to help us out immensely. Because if we can use Andy to do these fights, it means that we don't even really have to skip anything, which is amazing. So I'm very happy about that. And how are you guys doing with the event now? Have you just gotten the Woolly Dragon as well? I know that yesterday slash halfway into the day before was the regular time frame for people that like didn't miss resets or anything to get the Woolly. And I do know a couple of people that do have the Painted Dragon already. So if you do have it, then kudos to you. Hopefully I'll be following suit eventually. Uh, I'm very happy we don't have to skip these fights here. And even though these dragons are resistant to plant, they still get one shot or two shot by Andy, which is, like, amazing. Because even if we can't one shot them, we can just rack up the poison and it still does a ton to them, which is pretty good. But, yeah, I'm not sure what else we're going to do after the event finishes off, because obviously we don't have a lot of other dragons to actually try and breed. But, you know... We will have to wait and see anyway. I think we can do some enchantment fights and stuff as well today. And I'll probably force myself to do that. Just in case. Because otherwise I know I'm just not going to do it. Like I always say, I'll just end up not doing it if I don't force myself. We will try 18 out of 22 so far. We have this chest up here, which I think is definitely going to be way under our budget. Our budget being however remaining things we have. So let's open up this bad boy here. Then that's 19 out of 22. And what do we need? We need level 4 too. And then the only one that is left is the final level. So these are going to be the expensive ones. We could either go from the bottom or go from up top. I think it'll be cheaper to go from down at the 
bottom, maybe? Uh, I, I can't really tell. I'm just gonna go for it. I could look up one of the level guides, but I don't think I really need to that much. But yes, two days left, and we're making some progress. So I hope you enjoyed the little time skip there, just so I could uh, show off some more tiles being done for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some more of these enchantment flights done. We'll collect our cauldron for today as well. You know, might as well just collect the potions. Not that I really use them, to be completely honest. I should use them more often because they are just useful overall, but I always forget. It's not like I'm trying to forget. I just do. Ugh. Anyway, let's put all of our dragons in. I, again, I don't know why it replaces everything every single time. I like close the enchantment league stuff, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying that it just keeps replacing everything. Um, I don't think we really need to use it for this fight. Obviously, he's close in level to us, and he does almost like that's like quarter just over of a clay dragon's health. I would rather not have to use two dragons for these fights here, but you know, if our dragons just aren't strong enough, they're just not. We are up to 700 points because since I replaced my defenders with level 50s or like one level 50, we don't seem to be dropping down in points very often anymore, if like at all. So, I don't know. They are getting harder, which does also mean that the reward chests that we're going to be getting will also be giving us more back. But I'm not sure how much the worth is going to be if, like, say, our clay dragon can't do some of these fights or gets knocked out. So I'll have to wait and see. But as long as we can do, like, three fights at least in a row, normally I'm not going to be too, too unhappy about that. That should be enough to get our battle chest anyway. So I'm going to be happy with it either way. Let's get this chest, though. This is just one of those crappy green ones. What'd you got? What'd you got for me, game? Some energy? Oh, that's happy. Four out of five. So yes, we actually can do like a ton. Not bad, not bad. And I don't remember, do these actually count towards uh, a... What's a Mahuha? Do these enchantment fights count towards our winning battles? Because I think we can still do some for this reset. But I'm trying my best to just not spend any portal gems unless I have to. Just because I have been so non-lenient with them that I've just been spending them frivolously. That is definitely not what I should have done, by the way. Uh, so now I am running quite low, admittedly. Very low indeed. So, hope that I don't have to struggle anymore. Put it that way. We'll have a look at how many portal gems we have left anyway. We'll see if we can get a piece for the Enchantress as well. Uh, I haven't given my gifts out in like two days now, which I do feel a, a little bit bad about, I have to admit. But, you know, I, I've been busy. Like, today I woke up at 4am and I got home at 2.15pm, something like that. So you can imagine that it's been a tiring day to have to wake up at 4. Kind of dead inside. My body doesn't want to deal with life at the moment. But such is the story of my life, it seems. But anyway, let's claim this battle chest. Come on, give me some excellent stuff. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give uh, we got some energy, we got some shadow. That shadow is going to help us with leveling up Andy, so I can't really complain. So, you know, I guess you did alright. You did alright today, game. Sometimes you like to mess with me, I know you do, but I think you've been a little bit kind. We did also level up our Lantern Dragon a little bit as well, if you didn't notice. He is level 57. I think he's only a quarter of a level up away from 58, so he will be leveling up again very soon. I have pretty much run out of money though, because the like 160 million that we saved up has all been spent on six hour food uh which is terrifying and now i can't afford anything which is just great which means that the leveling up of the lance dragon is probably going to slow down a little bit now obviously but 
We'll have to see. I'll tell you what though, I am genuinely curious as to, um... The thing is as to why we have a limit of 200 portal gems, but only a max limit of 100 gifts a day. It does seem a little bit weird. Why not just have it as a 200 limit to make it even? And because that is your max friends list that you can look through, so... I don't know. Or it's the max that you can send to anyway, so I, I feel like 200 just makes more sense. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm not thinking about, and maybe one of you guys could tell me, because I don't, I don't really get it myself. I don't know, I don't know the reasoning behind the limit of 100 gifts exactly. People have said that it's just to avoid people from constantly just adding rando so that they'll get free stuff, which does make sense. It really does make sense. And who is calling me? There is this random set of numbers that just continually keeps trying to contact me and I don't know what these numbers are but I pick them up and then I answer and then it just closes the call. I think it's like an automated bot like trying to get money out of me or scam me so that I'll always have to spend money to like open up the call but I don't get it. Why me? What have I done? Maybe my name was like in the like, yellow pages or something and they're just scamming me. Weird. But you have to be on the lookout for scams in this day and age. They come in all sorts. Emails, Facebook profiles, stuff like that. In-game people are even scammers. Like, have, have any of you guys like ever heard about the people that just like invade clans and take them over? And remove all the members just for the sake of it? I've heard some stuff about that happening. I don't know all the details. It's happened with like a few people apparently but that sounds weird like why do it I personally do not understand why a person would do that but I guess I guess we all enjoy different things that's really the only way I can phrase it honestly I could phrase it much nastier than that and also we do have chip here as a clan dragon just to boost our gold production still but the Great Dragon Race will be restarting in two days' time, so we'll have to look forward to that. That'll mean collecting more clan points, all that jazz. That should be pretty good. And so, obviously, next time we will open up our Woolly Dragon's Egg, take a look at the guy, and all that stuff. So, look forward to that. And again, I did just want to say that the Gem Sweepstakes winners have been contacted and their gems have been sent. So, you know, if you are one of the three winners, just letting you know that your gem should have been sent over to you now. So, you know, if they're not, let me know. Let me know. But anyway, guys, for now, thank you very much for watching. Good luck at the event. And until next time, I will see you then.